Hello, hello. This is the Awful and Awesome Entertainment Wrap, episode 287. This is Rajesh Sen. And this is Abhinandan Sekri and Rajshri Sen's voice from last week sounding slightly husky. <laughs> and now? For a good time, call 1 800 is now sounding slightly like Phata Maas. So next week, by next week it'll be fine. I'll be back. I think it's sounding quiet. I felt it was fine. I think there's something to do with the air over here. It was fine in the clean air of Gurgaon. My voice was sounding very (laughs) good. But Delhi has ruined it. Yeah. So this week, Rajshri, we have a super hit film that we have watched. It's like an episode of Larry, I wanted to say. Our episode today. Why? Because we have everything. We have everything. What do you want? So we, we have a film. We have an interview with one of the most exciting new actors who you all know. Uh, you've seen her recently in another series which has also done very very well. We have an ad. Yeah. And we have? Three, three songs. Three songs. And that two, one slightly risky, one moving and one I don't know what that is. What you I don't know which is the moving one but anyway, we shall talk Must about it. Must be the Badsha one. The Badsha <laughs> Uh, but we shall start off Rajshri Sen with an appeal to our subscribers Yes. Uh, to tell their friends and relatives to subscribe and pay to keep news free because this year there are eight significant elections uh, and we're going to be sending our reporters out there to report from the ground and we would like to increase the amount of reporters who report from the ground so do subscribe and tell your friends and relatives and those of you who aren't subscribers but are earning uh, do subscribe because journalism is going to die without people supporting it Because if you leave it to government ads and industrialists, uh, you can see what's happening in the world of news around you. And before you know it, uh, let's read the history of Spain under Franco, uh, Germany under the Nazi party, uh, and a whole lot of uh, other bits from history. In fact, you should uh, check out a podcast called um, Real Dictators. And you see how media played an important role in society's collapsing. So you have to make sure that the media is not left to the state all large industrialists. Subscribe to News Laundry, pay to keep news free. The link is in the show notes below. Rajesh, what do you want to start with? Your choice. We are going to start with the film that has brought together the whole of India. The subcontinent has said we are all one. There is no Hindu, Muslim, Christian. Christian is called something else in Hindi. Isai. Isai. There is no Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Parsi, they left out. No one includes the Parsis. It's very sad. We watched Pathan. And did we? On the big screen. Abhinandan wrote so many notes that it's longer than the script of Pathan. Because clearly there was no script to Pathan other than (laughs) you look hot, madam, and you wear little clothes because we do not have luggage, uh, this thing. Too much luggage that we want to take. John Abraham was also given very few clothes. And Salman and uh, Shah Rukh will be there. And every morning they were given their dialogues. And they had got lots of mileage, frequent flyer points from Emirates or somewhere. Because they were everywhere. Well, Name I don't know about that. country. I mean, you're just being... <laughs> it was... It's a film that is a masterpiece. <laughs> it's a cinematic masterpiece. Okay? Stop laughing. That ice skating sequence... There are spoilers ahead, <laughs> so just letting you know. You always survive but, with these spoilers. But it is a must-watch, even though it's not a good film. I will, <laughs> yeah. I will be honest. Correct. But it has some very good things. There's Deepika Padukone. Who has not wasted any time in wearing any then clothes. there's Deepika Padukone also. And there is that other person Sponsored in that song. Sponsored by OnlyFans, you Deepika think? Deepika Padukone. <laughs> but, I mean, and even Shah Rukh is looking amazing. The... Beginning of the film started off by Rajshri picking a fight with the people in the <laughs> row in front. I didn't. Now, if you're watching, ma'am, auntie, I think, please don't judge me because of the company I keep. <laughs> you don't have to start a movie with a fight. Because then, you see, it is very awkward for the <laughs> man with you that you're saying, like, should I enter the fight? Should I just sit? <laughs> should I also intervene because a lady has grey hair, white hair? You know, if her son or husband comes, am I expected... Why can't you f-ing be nice? But I wasn't fighting. I said, excuse me, ma'am. Can you stop talking on the phone? And she said, but the film hasn't you started. Not start, you should yeah. not start a film where we've gone. See, Rashi said, even though it's an action film, you know, I'm a lover, not a fighter. 
don't pick fights and halls on your with me no she got very aggro anyway, i did not like she so that's said... how our film started <laughs> so few notes uh, few no- <laughs> it's a chapter uh, you wrote you know they've done this whole give the storyline i want you to sum up the storyline there's an indian agent called pathan hmm. who is going to save india from the devastation that's been only caused by a mercenary terrorist played by john who's called jim Hmm. with the help of an isi operative deepika padukone called rubaiya that is the plot and he that's works it. for joker that's like a humor thing yeah so that's the story it's simple yeah um clearly so like all these uh, born identity mission impossible hmm. type things all these things come with that tick, 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 new delhi 11 or yeah. somewhere so they show an arms bazaar and this is somewhere in africa let's just insult the whole continent yeah, and because it, was... it could be morocco or Anywhere. it could be rwanda which you will never know arms bazaar like that it could be somalia where you would so let's just fucking insult the whole continent because they are assuming no one will call from the african continent so is yeah africa somewhere in africa matlab you could be no specific and it was wild the place they showed was like a no man's land absolutely Uh, you tell me first rachi give the plot and all cuz i have specific instances oh oh you have specific Only. instances like that so uh, i thought the film was it's quite a bad film but it's a fun watch see i wasn't expecting battleship potemkin so this was quite good sharuk looks very good for a old man he's 57 years old which is quite he really and what a body you kept what? saying it's painted but i don't think I didn't keep saying it's painted. I say you think all those. Uh... Okay, Rajshri Sen, here's the deal. <laughs> you should not misquote people, especially if you're sitting with a news professional. <laughs> There is an element of makeup that is done to enhance the cuts, but that doesn't mean you can make a blob look like a chiseled person. So the already chiseled bits will be painted to accentuate them more, but that doesn't mean it's all painted. Why That's... did you say blob? You're uh, referring to self. to say that he can't be made to look nice he that's what you were trying to say he can't make you look chiseled they he can't can. make him can. i've seen him have you watched hey kasina the pablo picasso you have to watch hey kasina usse kam mein baat nahi bane he was very hot in hey kasina the but uh, one sharuk looks very good the picas action sequences are good but outstanding outstanding i think this should be our country i think it will be Don't it should be this it's very better and, than rr and all and uh, that for sure it's not an hmm. assault on the senses that that's much only is... because it's got deepika and sharuk trust no, me no even john any other two people doing that role we would not have sat salman that film. and katrina have done i would have left that film same. in like 8 huh. minutes so the other thing is john's i felt that whole thing of equal exploitation of bodies as well none so deepika was very few clothes john has a very critical scene in which she does the full scene wearing very small white boxers uh, no they're very... not in boxers because boxers are loose ha <laughs> he is very wearing... these are the, you know the sort of tight ones that you wear in the winter Underwear. under your shorts huh. you're not supposed to because the, the, then the the goods are on display <laughs> it's those kind of the like the ones we the, like the some indians wear on beaches yeah So like he those. is wearing yeah. with the top button open. So his entire scene, this critical scene, he does in that. And uh, I thought Dimple was very good. She's now in all these films. I've realized Dimple has made a comeback. But the storyline, there is no real storyline. As it did not make too much sense. No, it makes as much sense as any other spy thriller. I mean, the fact is that. All these films, whether it's Born Identity or Born Ultimatum, Mission Impossible One, Mission Impossible Two, James Bond. James Bond. The plot is a secret agent, a terrorist who wants to finish the world, a beautiful woman who is also looking for the terrorist, and they'll join. It's the same story in all of them, so it is not any more sensible than a Born Identity or Mission Impossible or Tigers in the Head, there or less. It is the same plot. It is just a detailing that makes a film more credible or. But born identity and all make a bit of sense. They do like that, there's logic to yeah that, that, huh? to the specific instance because it's plausible. Yeah. But the plot is the same. There's there's no difference in the plot. Yeah, but otherwise it's not. And Salman Khan, I was very excited to see Salman. Spoiler alert: Salman is. I think everyone knows now. Everyone. By now, it's one week. Yeah. By now, if you don't know, then what are you? And Salman, doing? you can make out looks older than him. A, you can make out Shahrukh. Is he was, older? I want to check. You could make out Shahrukh 
was an athlete when he was young and Salman's body is because of pumping because when a person runs you can tell whether the guy is an athlete or whether he's a pumper so when Salman is running it looks like Working. there's something stuck between <laughs> his cheeks <laughs> not not these he's ones he's also 57 it's just stuck there and he's like running whereas when Shahrukh and Deepika run it's like a fluid run it's like, like it's like Usain Bolt and when John is running John looks very good in this yeah So I read somewhere John has acted well. He doesn't have to act. No, He's just no, looking. No, no, he acts. He acts a little bit. Really? I don't know. He a little bit of emotion But is the, there. But the thing is, in this film, they've even got Ashutosh Rana to act badly. So you know, the acting is. Don't watch this so film for the acting. So the dialogue delivery is especially bad, especially in the first half. It's very weird dialogue, and it's very weirdly de- delivered. It's it really. That's feels, what dialogue delivery. No, is. keep quiet. <laughs> It's like they've been given the script in the morning and told you learn these lines. No, it's because the Pika's never been a great actress. She's been a Have you seen Piku? I've seen Piku I've sitting seen next to you. Year. Happy New Year. Have you seen Chennai Express? These That are masterpieces. That's what I cried in Chennai Express. Be- you yeah. See the truth didn't you cry when she got shot? I saw oh, Abhinandan do this and then you I wiped a tear like really quickly like that but Hmm. I can see that your colleagues are judging you, the youngsters. <laughs> so I'll come to my notes once you're done with yours. No, so I felt it was pesa vasool, and I think a film like this needs to be made now, for the simple reason, for the politics of the way Shah Rukh has been treated by the government and so on, and uh, also just to see the Khans ruling the roost still. Ruling the roost. So one is a. Uh, This film is purely being carried by the stars, and I will include uh, John in that. Hmm. Anyone other than John, Deepika, and Shahrukh in this film would have not been watchable. Just these three make it watchable, and this is what is star value, and this is why cinema needs stars. Any cin- film industry cannot prosper and blossom on just the back of fantastic ne- technicians. You know. fantastic people who understand the craft of acting etc uh, you know the om puris and the nasirs etc you need the sharoks and the deepikas because they make a film of this scale enjoyable uh, this is my sincere request to bollywood directors and producers anyway all of you live in juhu you must move beyond cafe mondi uh, mondigas and leos to find your backup dancers any foreigner in a film But now I will, since I interrupted Abhinandan, I'll apologize to him inside, and I'll hand it back to him. Thank you so much. <laughs> But feel free to interrupt as soon as I start off anything. Okay, good. So, uh, <laughs> the song was too good; it should not have ended. <laughs> it was actually one of those songs which was picturized so well. Whoever sang it has an amazing voice. Oh, we didn't even give the details about the film. Let me first give it. It has been directed by Siddharth Anand, who has made what before. It has been written by Abbas Tyerwala, who has written some amazing films in the past, by the way, and Sridhar Raghavan, who is uh, Sri Ram Raghavan, someone. I don't know. Uh, produced by Ditya Chopra, and uh, the music is by Vishal Shekhar. It's got two songs and two themes. One is Jim's theme, and one is Pathan's theme, and two songs. It's amazing the music. I think the music really stands out in this film. uh and uh it's been shot beautifully hmm. also one thing i've noticed is that when um the crisis is happening in the end with uh um, crisis he's being really kind <laughs> with <laughs> with, no with uh, dimple and her staff in the lab oh ha and, and so like in the menu sound travels through glass when yeah. nothing else air tight water tight but sound is traveling through that even hollywood bollywood is taking liberties with physics of how sound travels It's a recurring theme. Also, I have to say, it showed great uh, maturity that uh, Dimple agreed, who looks very good for her age. I have to say that her last scene will be her covered in marks. This is also a spoiler. Maybe she has marks because she had an allergy. Who knows? Who knows? You know, actually, a lot of films have tried this moment when you are, when any of the character, usually it's the woman, hmm. is um, in distress. And the man saves at the last minute, or huh. a child like in Agnipath, when that guy throws the child, and Amitabh catches the child, you know, or uh, which was that film where the guy is about to stab him and he catches with the hand like last minute. Huh. So in this they tried that with when she is in, in distress and she is going to be certainly killed, 
Oh. And he arrives and saves her. But we knew he'd save her. Of course, but the thing is that that it didn't give you goosebumps. There's one scene where you got goosebumps in this, and that's why he remains the best to do this. Khuda Gawa, when he's holding. I loved Khuda Gawa. Ben Azir, mm. and he's met her after a long time. And that guy, who was the most famous Pathan before this Pathan, by the way, who was the most famous Pathan before this Pathan? Dani Denzongappa. Lotia Pathan. Shut up. From Tezav, <laughs> Kiran Kumar. <laughs> You don't know these things. Kiran Kumar is in another documentary. So before this Pathan, there was Lotia Pathan. Okay, so is this, he in Khuda Gawa? Yeah. I've so he comes with the sword, and without releasing Benazir from his embrace, Amitabh just just tap and catches the sword. Ca- Oof! That scene, like, but that up. film was very good. I saw it on big screen. They tried that with this with him coming. It didn't work, but but. But I saw how impressed you were by the way she comes out ice skating. That was Sunday. amazing. It is the twists in this film, people. It's too much. And I really think that it had too many fight sequences. I get it, and the fight sequences weren't complicated. Oh, another thing. Hmm. You know, things like Mission Impossible. It may not be possible. What they're doing it. It's plausible. Huh. Like they say that Rajshri, when you tried to shoot me, you know, your gun didn't work because. I, they've explained it that I'm carrying some electromagnetic huh, device which, which will, will huh. suddenly connect with this and it will send out these mm. waves which which may not be possible but it's plausible. Yeah. In this they don't bother with explaining. Like I'm sitting with the handcuffs in the high security and suddenly Oh I'm yeah, ch- suddenly the handcuffs. How did so they don't hand- explain that like you know in James Bond all they explain that this happened because I am Oh they show. They show that something him. here suddenly when I want Also how did Salman reach the thing? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It just ये होगा तो होगा. That is the beauty. They yeah. they don't have to make it plausible for you. It's just Bollywood. It's, nah? a, it's a nice thing. Uh, so I would have loved more songs and less action sequences, genuinely, because I think the music was great and what, like Dil to Pagal hai. That's a musical film. But every song, chak dum dum chak dum dum. Imagine if John Sandi, after letting go of the missile, starts yeah, dancing. dancing. You that, walked out of that John film. I walked out of those Which was so those good. Tana. But I'm just saying that it could have had more songs. If that is our USP, which I think is the USP of uh, Indian cinema, we should celebrate it more. No, so I watched the uh, interview that they gave. Not the interview. They did a press meet because they haven't done any press for this film with Shahrukh, Deepika, John, and Siddharth Anand. And uh, Shahrukh is just so charming. He's, you get he's the king. There's no one even close to him. And I also think this coup of ever since Shah Rukh and Salman have patched up, this thing that they've realized that see we are in another five years they will not be able to rule the roost the way they are. So let us sort of make the most of what we can. If we have to star in each other's films, also let's star in each other's films. So in this also it was made very clear that he's going to be in. Uh, Tigers in the has whatever the next the sequel, Shah Rukh will be there and uh, Tiger had come for this one, and uh, it's just that press thing that he did and the way he spoke and he spoke about this whole thing of that for the last four years, a lot of things have happened in my life but I don't want to dwell on this and we worked on this film for two years and now I'm back. And he said it's and not for money; it's for love. We make. Which Deepika is, said that it is. Which of is, course they've. Probably touched six hundred crores yeah, by the so time this is done. Yeah, so it's easy to say it's that. It's amazing, but I mean, only yeah, he and Deepika could pull that. No one else could pull. He and off. Katrina could have also pulled. I'm no feeling... chance. No chance. Katrina is not in the same league as Deepika. So uh, <laughs> do watch the film. Uh, I think most critics have been very kind to it. Like I said, like I said yeah. about Paranjit's film, I like Paranjit. So I think a lot of uh, uh, obvious bizarreness of this film has been glossed over. But and that it's a wonderful it's not a wonderful film but it's an entertaining film but it could be far far better it could have been sure anything could be but they look very good but uh, go and watch this and watch it in the big screen and watch it because uh, they tried to make sure we could not watch it and this whole saffron to celebrate no no celebrate for cinema it is a celebration of Yeah. The quintessential Indian masala Bollywood film, and that's what it is. It's it's just it's it's a film that is carried by the stars. That's it. If it wasn't for scale and stars, this film you would never have watched. So you're only watching it for the stars and the scale. That's it. 
Now uh, we shall go to another email. I repeat, if you want to write to us, you have to be a subscriber. You can mail podcasts at newslawny dot com. I repeat, podcasts at newslawny dot com, or just click on the link in the show notes below that says for emails. This is where you click. This is from just a listener. Nice episode this time, and on a great interview with Miss Roy, talking about Nilan Jan Roy, who we interviewed last time on her book. She speaks so profoundly that you can't help but listen. Also, it seems like Miss Sen has. Raised the stakes and brought her skin into the game. That sounds more shady than it is. She just means because I write books. Books. I wrote a, a book. book. Huh. A S needs to bring his uncle laugh here. <laughs> okay. So now. Let's hear Mugambo laugh. Mugambo, khush hua. So now we're going to be talking about these three film uh, songs. One by Sam Smith. I'm not here to make friends. Miley Cyrus, Flowers, and Karna Hooja and Badsha, Players. Uh, and an ad, but before that, uh, I spoke with Rajshri Deshpande, the star who you have seen in well, we'll call her an actor because she's not a star yet, but I think she has incredible quality. Uh, she was in Sacred Games. Mm. Uh, she was in the most recent one, which is uh, Trial by Fire, and uh, she was in uh, S Durga. It was a film originally titled S Sexy Durga, which they changed to S Durga, uh, and she's done a whole bunch of other work. Here are excerpts of my interview with her. You can watch the full interview on NL Interviews, but on the podcast we've kept the best bits. So you had no interest in acting as a career. See, I come from a small town, Aurangabad, and uh, I grew up in villages. You know, spending time uh, with uh, you know all my summer vacations with my uh, family. Uh, so uh, for us, uh, you know. I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't remember any dreams at that time that I want to become like this or I want to do something like that. It was just, you know, okay, we were just surviving. Uh, you know, the family was like, okay, my my mother had this thing that okay, I have to my my children has to uh, get educated properly. There are three daughters, and uh, you know, how will they get married? So the only education can save them, or education can give them a good groom. So this is how my background is, and in all of that, you played Lakshmi in Angry Indian Goddesses. You played Durga in Sexy Durga in Malayalam film. Uh, you were Isma Chukta in Manto, which I have seen. I've seen your amazing, mind blowing performance uh, in uh, Trial by Fire and in uh, um, uh, the Netflix series uh, Sacred Games. Uh, these are clearly not choices for money. Uh, there is a craft, a commitment to the craft. There is an artistic aesthetic which is, you know, very mature. So, when did your motivation change to this, or these are just flukes? We ch- meaningful roles, yeah. What, what, what happened? No, 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 nothing like that. So, I after working in advertising for six, seven years, I really got bored. I, I felt like I'm dying every day because I was selling. Anything and everything at that time. Uh, so even money was also not saving me. You know, I I was not creatively growing anywhere because all my uh, you know twenties uh, uh, I gave it to you know running around for money and not living life. Uh, so there was a little period of my life where I was I was actually depressed. I was. I was going through a very low period in my life, and I thought that I think something is not working, and I need to revive my life. Did it take its toll on on your state of mind, or are you able to get into that zone and then come back and switch off to retain your context, your center? Because of my own on ground work, I uh, I've seen so much life going through. Ups and downs, and so many crises. I was prepared. I was prepared to take, uh, you know, anything. Even if I'm working on ground and I'm seeing things, I'm see, I'm working on bringing change over there. Mm-hmm. So I cannot keep on crying that okay, this is what is happening on ground. I have to find solutions. That's why I I'm working with people. I'm I built three schools till now. I worked on. ground water in the villages i have adopted 30 villages now because i know if i don't have action with me I'm, everything is zero then so 
Abhinandan does the fun things like interview interesting people when I'm not here. But <laughs> when you're doing actors, you got to uh, bring your A game. You got to, you know, you you got to accommodate your time. They can't say I have a meeting. <laughs> the time they give is the time you take. It's okay, but uh, you can watch the full interview on the main website and on the YouTube channel, right? Yes, or no, can. for subscribers. The full interview you can watch on. It's for subscribers only for the on the YouTube channel in NL interviews. Okay, fine. But that's it for the video podcast. For the rest of the podcast, the full one, you got to listen to the audio version only. So do continue listening and we will see you on the audio bit. The subscription model is something that keeps news laundry afloat, but we need hundreds of thousands of people to completely transform the news ecosystem. So you pay for news, so it serves you. So click on the link with this video, subscribe to News Laundry and pay to keep news free. And say, Mere khars par azad hai. Khabrein.